You are now on the road with Ram Ricky, the best kick channel on YouTube. Let's go! So now I am on my way to go to my client's house to do a walkthrough um, for a moving job. I need to take a walkthrough, take some pictures of some items, um, you know, because, you know, the conversation that we shared together uh, through text messages wasn't really... It, it wasn't very detailed in, as far as what needs to be transported and the size of every single item that she's had that she wants to move so um a lot of her stuff is antique items as well so i definitely want to come make a in a quarter mile so i'm definitely going to do this walkthrough and just do a checklist and make sure that all the items that she had already told us about are on that list take pictures of them so that way i can um, figure out what size of truck that I need for this job. So it's a so big move. I got four guys that's going to be on the scene with me, and um, we're going to make this that's happen. Right. Turn so you already know. Ram Rica Transport moving. We're out here getting busy. So I'll see you guys when I get to my client's house for this walkthrough. Let's go get it. We'll start here. All right. This is a gigantic dresser. Okay. It weighs a fucking ton. Okay. Uh, these are the drawers that go in it. Okay, and yeah, the, yeah. you were saying that yeah. without the drawers even and that it's a heavier thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, these are matching end tables. End tables. One and two. Okay, perfect. Uh, Let's see. All right. The main part of the apartment. Okay. These are not coming with us. The, the what, the, the bookcases? Yes. They're not coming, okay. No, but the boxes are. <laughs> okay, the boxes are. The boxes, Oops. which at this point are mostly books. They're books, okay. Which is how we made room. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so. We you said the case, the bookcases are not coming because you have the replacements in your storage unit. Yeah. Which are a yeah. lot better. And then, um, just all the books. They're going to be boxed up. Yeah. Okay. We're working perfect. our way through the book collection. Okay, perfect. Um. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we have a big task ahead of us. So during this walkthrough, I wanted to make sure what exact items were going. Like this dresser here, that was an old hutch. This couch is also going. Um, this table here is split into two. There was another cabinet dresser and filing cabinet here inside of the living room. Um, she was saying that the piano is not going to be going, which was luckily a blessing for us. Um, but we were going to take all these little tables and air conditioners. It was about a two bedroom three bedroom uh brownstone so there was a lot of things inside of each room so here we are in her master bedroom this bed was also going those two nightstands and dressers she said were going those lamps and everything inside of this corner here so here we are inside of the kitchen as you can see she has so many things here inside this kitchen it was going to be a nightmare so all this stuff is going dishwasher she had a little storage unit on the side that was filled with more junk and boxes filled with dvds books so that was definitely going to be some heavy items that were going to be transported this little doorway here um, was a very small space as i was trying to indicate in the video i was trying to show the space between the ceiling and the stairs to see if we were going to have enough clearance to even get some of this stuff out of there so wish us luck y'all all right y'all so today's the big day it's moving day our first stop was to meet my client at the storage unit facility and load up the two bookcases that she had in storage and transport those to her new home Let's get these loaded up and let's get on our way to her house. So we got on site about 11 o'clock in the morning and started wrapping up the furniture, and getting everything outside of the apartment so we could start loading up the truck. Yeah, you see that big Ram Reekin logo? We outside. Yes, I can just keep going. Truck is starting to look good. 
So let's get a lot of the bigger furniture outside so we can load it up. That's why I wanted my oldest son here too. He like him, up and down, blowing it. Yeah, furniture, bro. When he get out the military, yeah, I'm having him come work. All right, so now I'm about to show you how I really get busy. I'm gonna start wrapping all these furniture while they start bringing the rest down and get everything packed up. You see my guys, we're moving, getting the job done. Let's get it. So here we go with all these boxes. Start loading those up first, so that way they can pack from the inside out as it was just easier to stack those on top of each other. She just had a lot of stuff inside of her house So it took us a long time getting everything out of the house and neatly organized inside of the truck You always want to make sure to tightly wrap all of the furniture with the blankets when you're doing a moving job So that way you don't damage any of the corners or legs when you're loading and unloading the furniture into the house. When you rent the truck from U-Haul, you can also get the blankets from them and the appliance hand trucks for a small additional fee if you don't have it. Yeah, he said there's like 15 more boxes of them and shit like that. The whole front end of this truck is packed up with boxes, man. Word. My God definitely loaded this shit up perfectly, man. We building a whole wall right here. All right. Oh my God, Sam. We unloaded boxes right here. You see that red Rican logo, man. We out here. Like I said, we got some furniture wrapped. We do the wrapping. Do the packing and wrapping. We got this big boy on the dolly over here. Cause this big boy is heavy. This, this one right here is a heavy motherfucker. Hi. Hello. No, no, no. We're just coming in. I'm looking okay. at some more. Do you need, uh, no. Uh, table, chairs, all this stuff is gonna hopefully get packed in boxes and all that okay. stuff. A little small stuff. Uh, the little recliner chair. The, the cap. Oh, it's not going. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So don't worry about the recliner. The recliner staying, TV, couch pieces, this. This is very um, expensive and, and antique, so we'll all take that together. Right. Um, that thing is not going. That's not going, right, no. Nora? Uh, little the end tables. We'll box up the lamps. This little baby dresser you said was going or no? Yeah. The, the little bookshelf, okay. yep. And then at the last, we'll wait for the ACs at the end. Okay. Keep getting, you know what I mean? Okay. Keep, it, keep it cool. Yeah, yes, yes. And then they can be unloaded first. Alright, so it's time to get these big boys downstairs. Let's get it. Yeah, go up and over. First one went already. All right, it's time to go in beast mode. Load up all these big items into the truck. All the boxes of the books already loaded in. So let's get it packed up. Come on, come on, come on. Right 
After a couple of hours of work, I definitely needed to take a break and rehydrate. It was one of the hottest days of the summer. It was about 100 degrees, and we was out there dying. But we about to get back at it and hit this hard. Let's go. All right, so remember during my walkthrough, my client told me that she wasn't going to take these white bookcases because she had some new bookcases in the storage that she was taking? Well, she lied. So she told me that she wanted these bookcases, so I told her that was an additional fee. Let's get these off the wall and load it into the truck. Yo, so this bed right here was a nightmare. The bed itself hadn't been taken apart in about 13 years, so all the bolts were all rusted inside, and they did not want to come out. All right, y'all. So we got everything loaded up inside of the truck. Everything that fit. There's a couple more dresses that's still inside the home. We brought them downstairs. We're gonna set up another appointment for tomorrow to come and pick up the remaining items, and then you know, charge for another appointment to move that those things. Hey yo, it's, it's been a fucking, it's been a headache, bro. It's been a nightmare all day trying to get all this shit. This shit's heavy, antique furniture. Um, but we got it loaded up, so all of our time throughout the whole day was spent here, loading up the truck. So we on our way to a drop off. I see you all there. Time is currently 526. We've already been at this shit for like almost seven hours. So I see you out the drop off. All right, y'all. So we're here at my client's uh, new home. We're gonna unload the truck. We got the truck loaded up to the brim starting to unload some items now we do have to do a second part of the job tomorrow for like maybe like another three or four different uh dressers and some more little small you know bags and a couple item boxes from the kitchen and whatnot so we're going to continue the job tomorrow as we're already on seven hours on this job and we just got to the drop off so let's get up in here let's unload this stuff there's a there's a big problem with the elevator the elevator is very small in this building so we're gonna have a, ourselves a big challenge because a lot of this furniture is bigger than the elevator. So pray for me, y'all. I'll see y'all as we continue to unload the truck. Let's get it. We're going right into the elevator with everything. We're gonna see right now. We're gonna see right now. I got you, Chef. That's the headboard. You got that in? Why? He probably went up. It probably, it probably closed when he was unloading. Just load it and send it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, turn. Sam's in the corner? Come on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, let it close. It, it puts you right in there. All right, so it's time to unload the truck. Let's get all this furniture loaded up inside of the house. This table right here was dangerous. It split in the middle. It almost took my finger. I had to shut it closed so that way we can get it inside of the house. That shit was super heavy too. So here goes those white bookcases that she said she wasn't going to take. Luckily, we had enough space to make everything fit and got it all over there in one load. There was also three stairs that led into the building that my client did not tell me about. So it made a problem for us loading all those books in with the hand trucks. On top of that, the elevator was super small. And we had a lot of problems getting this furniture inside of it. Yep, because the other piece is coming up. Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Perfect. This is nice. I like this. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Oh, right. That's a nice space here. I like the long hallway and then the rooms are at the end, you know? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a nice little perfect space for all the like bookcases or whatever. Make like a whole 
section here. Perfect. All right, y'all. It was about 10 hours, 11 hours later. We almost done. I'm dying. We're dying out here, bro. We're dying. We almost done. Let's get it. All right, y'all. And just like that, we emptied out the truck. We done, man. We done. Man, man down. Man down. Three down, three down. Yo, started off with three. Then we got another person to jump in came and helped out for like five hours and then he died down man and he had to go man and there was only three of us so it's a last little load last couple of boxes of books and we loaded it upstairs and we done this was one hell of a fucking job man had a fucking hell of a fucking day man and what are the hottest fucking days to pick man 11 Yo, fucking hours tomorrow, yeah, yeah we're gonna do this shit wednesday <laughs> Yo, I was dying. I must have drank about 20 Gatorades that day. It was super hot, even at nighttime. But we was about to be done. So let's get it. It's the last of the boxes. We loaded up the elevator right there. With the remainder of the boxes. The rest of the boxes that's in the lobby. And we finally done. Let's fucking go. Yeah. So what's up, y'all? done with that job it was an 11 hour job i'm just getting home at one o'clock after everything it's one o'clock in the morning i've been out since 5 a.m it was such a long day productive day but i'm exhausted so i'll catch you guys in the next one till the next time you're on the road with your boy ram regan stay running it up peace on the road with them.